Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at APXD stock which is going to be merging with 8 point in quarter 1 of 2021. So I did buy this stock right around in the end of November for $10.80, around 150 shares. Um, actually I bought like 250 shares but I cut down some of my shares and the stock basically exploded to $16. Um, back at the uh, start of December and ever since then it's kind of like drifted down a bit to the 13 range Went a bit to the 14 range and as you can see this range acted as a resistance um, And now it's currently trading at 14.71 and I do believe there's a breakout coming for APXT stock And this stock could gain a lot of momentum and go towards the 20s And in fact if I'm going to show you guys the investor presentation um, right after this part and I do believe the stock is going to go five to ten times in the next five years um, I really believe in this company. It's one of Microsoft's largest cloud computing partners and um, I'm going to do the investor presentation over here just after this. So why do I think um, APXD stock is going through um, a breakout? Well, I've made a support and resistance line and as you can see, it had a resistance around over uh, here. The top line is the resistance, and this line over here is um, continued for one month, and this is the support. So it kind of bounced around over here. And as you can see, there was like around one bounce over here and um, a resistance over here. And as you can see here, these two lines crossed, and the MACD is showing right now that it's about to go above the yellow line and this line could go a bit like this parabolic and actually explode up and as you can see this breakout has happened obviously it does depend on other SPACs and the momentum of these SPACs altogether and basically the market sentiment on these SPACs and the general market but as things go perfectly fine and as we get closer to the merger date in Q1 of 2021 I do expect the stock to go up and especially uh, by seeing this breakout happening right now. So I do think this stock could go to the 20s really quickly and maybe that's one of the reasons you should buy it. But long term, I want to show you the investor presentation. Um, it's on their website actually. You can go to the investor relations. But I'm going to present this for you guys because I'm a nice guy. Uh, so the uh, CEO's name is Jeffrey Epstein. Just kidding. It's Jeff Epstein. Uh, pretty funny, right? Um, so these people, these both people, the co-CEO and the CEO, these guys are uh, quite talented people and they have a lot of experience um, and they have served in many boards including Oracle, Nielsen and Investment Banking, M&A and this guy has worked in uh, Goldman Sachs as the head of technology in investment banking. So this guy is um, pretty good as well and he's worked for SAP, Microsoft, eBay. And Dell. So this is the management of this company. But what really interests me about this company is this is a bit of a summary, but it really has an attractive valuation right now. The company is valued at two billion at the starting price of ten dollars. As you can see, it's at fourteen dollars right now, so forty percent higher than that. Um, let's just go through some of the things. Uh, the implied enterprise value is 9x of their 2021 revenue projections which I think is crazy it's pretty cheap for a tech com tech company and um, you've got a 2 billion market capitalization uh, for this company Apex Technology and um, uh, these are some of their other people notable people so this guy's name is Tiang Jiang I do think he's from China I'm not too sure he has 23 years of experience and he is a CEO of this company. Okay, and um, now we're gonna go to the company overview. And this is their growth. Right now they're making 148 million in revenue. And I think that the fact that this company is already profitable limits your risk while you're investing in this company long term. Um, they don't have much debt even uh, right now and the fact that they're making a profit is already great a lot of these companies like uber and stuff are still not making profit and that's why we struggle to consider the li risks and limitations behind these companies so um, Satya in the, in the Dell the CEO of Microsoft said we have seen two years worth of digital transformation in two months so Microsoft really likes this company and that's why Microsoft has partnered with 
Apex Technologies. Um, so this is some of the stuff they do. Uh, you can read this uh, by yourself um, in your own time and do your own due diligence. I'm just going to quickly go down, 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 down. So this is their projections, actually. They think it's a $1.8 trillion market by 2022. And um, they have, uh, like, the revenue right now is $148 million. Um, and they think in the future they can get $500 million. And um, these are some of their other partners they can work with. Diversified, blue chip base, all these companies, high technology, financial services, and even communications. So uh, the revenue can basically come in all these ways and grow like this. But their financials is the most impressive part. So this is what I was talking about, guys. Right now, um, this is the quarter, 75 million, 78 million, 85 million, 90 million, and... Uh, 95 million and 101 million in quarter two 2020 so as you can see it's been a steady growth and it's been growing every single quarter which is very nice um, the, uh, their projection for next year 2021 is 193 million and the year after 25 uh, 257 million um, so their projections are quite a lot of growth around like 50% every year I think and um, the shareholders uh, looks like this a bit their pie chart uh, the existing eight point shareholders equals to 72 percent and they're going to be giving this much to the public to buy um, okay so basically now comes the attraction value as you can see eight point has such a great attraction compared to all these other companies like dying trace and alvara I'm, sh I'm sure you guys don't know these companies nor do i but like um this is pretty interesting with having such a low EBITDA margin and such a low 2021 growth adjusted revenue multiple. So that's about it there. Um, I'm going to hopefully add the link to this investor presentation so y'all can see this. But I enjoyed making this video for you guys. Um, make sure to do your own DD. And if you guys have any questions about the breakout I showed earlier, let me know down in the comment section below. I hope you guys make a lot of money in this stock. And um, I'll see you guys next time.